Hey, it's Jordan from Roadmonk, here to give you a quick rundown of Roadmonk's two built-in prioritization templates, Rice and Value versus Effort. Product managers juggle hundreds of different projects at one time. By implementing a repeatable, systematic prioritization method, you can take the guesswork out of prioritization and continually surface what your team should focus on next. Scoring ideas based on a standard set of factors aligns your team on which ideas require the most attention and urgency. In Roadmonk, items can be scored using one of two criteria sets, value versus effort and rice. Let's start with calculating scores using the value versus effort template. As you probably guess, this method compares the value gained from an idea against the effort that's required to complete it. It's a popular, easy to communicate way to prioritize your ideas. Value versus effort uses a standard ranking system from one to five, where value is a positive factor and effort is a negative one. The score is calculated by simply dividing the value rating by the effort rating, causing your highest value, lowest effort initiatives to rise to the top. By adjusting any of the values that are associated with an idea, you can see the scores automatically change. Now that we've seen how value versus effort works, let's move on to the RICE framework. This model gives a more detailed look at how ideas may impact your goals. RICE stands for the four factors that are used in this model, reach, impact, confidence, and effort. Reach represents how many people will be affected by a feature in a given length of time. Impact estimates how much an idea may affect these people. Confidence acts as a bias break that offsets overly optimistic impact scores. And finally, effort is a measure of how much time and people are required to implement your idea. Based on these factors, your RICE score is ultimately calculated by multiplying reach by impact by confidence, and then dividing that number by effort which is why it's listed as a negative factor here. Often seen as being more detailed than value versus effort, Bryce encourages solidifying your research and confidence before prioritizing any ideas that are perhaps more flashy and exciting from the outset. Just like with value versus effort, you can see your scores automatically change based on any adjustments you make. After you've scored your ideas using one of those templates, you can then systematically rank them from highest to lowest score, surfacing which ideas your team should focus on next. Regardless of which one of Roadmonk's built-in prioritization frameworks you use, as long as your scores are directly tied to your customer feedback and product strategy, you'll be set up for success.